It's time for something with more flavor. This is going to be great. Here, right? Go. I'll just pour all of this on these noodles. Give me this pepperoni. So good. Hot ducky. To slice through your monsters, clay pipe cleaners and googly eyes. Let's make monsters googly eyes. Ted Cruz can be. I'm back, yes. Monsters can be. All shapes. Let's make some ice cream. The materials you need to make pretend ice cream are clay sequined. Beat, let's make some ice cream. Roll your ice cream into a ball. Even roll with their hands or on the table. We've got lots of flavors. Orange, grape, raspberry, blueberry. You may need to smash them down a bit to stack them. And now toppings mini Play-Doh, marshmallows, delicious. These just sprinkles. I want to call this the monkey. So we're going to get started with these plastic eggs from Dollar Tree. So if you have any leftover from Easter, this is a perfect time to use them. And the first thing I have to do is paint them red. Now you can, of course, paint them by hand, but I like spray paint, it's just a lot easier, and it does give a nice, even coat. So I'm going to be using this spray paint here, but I did want to show you how I kind of made the spray painting process a little bit easier, because it can be tricky when you're spray painting something like an egg. So I took this small box here, this is just what I use for spray painting. You can see I have some lips left over from Valentine's Day, and I'm going to go ahead and just take a toothpick and push it through the box. It doesn't have to go all the way through. It just has to be sturdy enough to hold the egg up. Now, these eggs do have a hole in the bottom, so you can go ahead and just put them right onto that toothpick, and it is going to make the painting process super easy. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys outside with me and show you they are nice and sturdy. Just like this. I put them in a box so it didn't get red all over my grass. But the process was really easy. I did about one to two coats on each side. And you will see when you lift the egg up that bottom part doesn't get painted. But that is oak because we are going to be covering that up at the end. So before we go ahead and cover that up though, we do have to paint on the seeds of the strawberries. So since you guys saw the intro, you already know we are making these eggs into really cute strawberries. Right now, they're kind of just looking like red Easter eggs. So we have to add the strawberry seeds to really make this DIY a lot more convincing. And the easiest way I found to do that is just with a toothpick. I'm using black acrylic paint here, and I'm just dipping it in and just ever so slightly creating small oval shapes on my eggs. I had painted all of my eggs, I let them dry completely, and now it is time for the next step. So I did actually save my carton from before. And you can go ahead and just put your eggs into the carton again. This is just going to make the next step a little bit easier. So for this part here, you're going to need some green fellas now. Dollar Tree does sell felt now in their crafter square. This is just one I already had on hand, I believe from Joanne Fabrics. But usually you can find some at Dollar Tree, so the first thing I'm going to do is just cut my felt into a square shape. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half and start to cut out a little triangle shapes. We're creating the little green leaves that are on top of the strawberry. And those leaves are always different shapes and sizes. So don't worry about this being perfect. It looks better if it's a little bit messy or if the points are a little bit different looking. 
That's how it's supposed to look. So go ahead and make it look organic. Now you can just add one. But I actually found that if you cut two of them per strawberry and just stagger them a little bit, I think it gives it a really fun look and just kind of adds to the appearance of the strawberry. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just cutting a second one to layer on top of my first green stem. And now to add my leaves to the top of my strawberry, I'm just going to be using hot glue. You can probably use any glue for this, but my hot glue gun was already out and it is super handy for adding felt because it does dry really quickly. So here's my first one. I'm just going to hold it in place. And I did try to kind of curve it down a little bit to go around the strawberry. And then I'm going to be adding my second one on top. And you can kind of see here how I am staggering it in between the points of the first one, just to kind of give it a little bit more height and variety if you wanted to. You can even cut a small piece of felt to add on top of the leaves to be a little stem for your strawberry. I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine like this, but I do think that would look adorable as well. So here is my first strawberry. And now I have to get busy cutting all of my other leaves. This part did take a little bit of time. Since I did do two for each one, I had to cut out 12 of them. I do think it was definitely worth it in the end. I love the look of the two different leaves stacked on top of each other. Definitely make a bunch of these and display them in a wicker basket. I think that would be so beautiful looking, but I do have a styling idea if you just want to pick something up at Dollar Tree. So we're going to go ahead and move our strawberries aside for a second. And you want to grab these two items here. So these are the little mini chalkboard signs from Dollar Tree. And they're crafter square, and one of their little would create tree does tend to carry both of these items. Year round in their crafter square, and I'm also going to be grabbing some raffia. If you don't have raffia, you can also use Spanish moss for this part. And Dollar Tree does usually have Spanish moss year round in their floral department. So once I added my raffia, I got to styling my strawberries. You can see here I was struggling to fit all six of them in my crate though. So I did end up just using five of them. I probably could have just removed some of the raffia, but that's oak. So next, we're going to go ahead and just grab one of our chalkboard tags. And you just want to grab something to write on here with, so you can either use a chalk pen. I'm actually going to be using a white paint pen, or you can just use a piece of chalk. Anything will work for this. And I just decided to write $0.25 for my little crate here. But again, choose anything you like. I did want to write strawberries at first, and then I kind of realized it was a little small for that. So we just kept it really simple and went with the $0.25 fine. But I do think it looks really cute. And at this point, I decided to rearrange my strawberries a little bit more until I was happy with them. And here is a closer look at how these turned out.